What took you so long, Grace? I was trying to confirm the arrival of the time of the train at the station, but it came while I was there. Oh. I mean, we gotta catch that then, right? Oh my. Hello, train. This game is so cool. I don't know. <laughs> I love, like, weird, goofy, old retro games. I don't know what to say. But I mean, like... That's cool. Oh, did you see the locomotive? Darn, that's why I told you I wanted to go with you, Grace. That huge thing actually moves. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. Oh, are, like, trains, like, a new thing? That's, like, what I'm gathering from this. So it's probably, like, a super novelty to them. So we can't find the Prudon army, we must, we must find our way to the Republic. Maybe the train. Speaking of the Prudon army, do we know where they are? They were ambushed by the Imperial General Garzel's army. Garzel's? I almost said Garzi. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Garzel's army. Right now they're still in battle, so they can't help us. General Garzel is a good so a good leader. Even General Proton must be having trouble fo facing him on the battlefield. The strategy of the Empire has been remarkable. It seems they always know where we're heading next. Did they read this script? <laughs> it seems we have some time before the train's departure. It might be a good idea to learn about locomotives. Why don't you take a look, Symbios? Okay. Oh, you too, Lord Symbios? Only you and Grace get to see the train? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just how it rolls, I don't know. Alright, then you can go too. Yeah! Let's hit the town, Masker. Alright. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Grace. How's it going? The engine is powered by steam, right? It can pull so many huge cars. Wow. So this is technology. Yep. Is there anything you wish? No? Okay. Well, cool. This is awesome. I, again, I like the writing of this game. I don't know. General Proton is drawing General Garzel's army away from us. How brave. He decided to become a decoy for us. General Proton is a great general. I wish there was some way to help him. Yeah. Because the Proton army is fighting against the Imperial army, there are no Imperial troops in our vicinity. I hope we don't have to deal with them at least until after we get to on the train safely. Yeah, that would be good. Um, hello. I've traveled around the world, so I'm not interested in Railhead. But since you grew up in the Republic, there may be many things here that can amuse you. You have explored the entire town. So, like, I'm pretty sure Shining Force 2 didn't have, like, many bases. Like, I think I saw, like, one in the entirety of the game. And most of the time, uh, like, so yeah, this is basically, there's gonna be a lot of rooms like this throughout the course of the game, and it's gonna have basically everyone in the army kinda at these tables. Um, I am noticing, I think this game is gonna have less characters than the other two ones, but I think a lot of them are getting a, a lot more to say, so I think that actually is probably a good thing in the long run. Um... Plus, also, if they're splitting into scenarios and stuff, I mean, I imagine it's probably gonna balance out to being in the same number by the end of everything, but, um, still, it's certainly interesting. But yeah, uh, the fact that they, like, comment on, like, you know, what's going on in the plot is actually really cool. Um, my husband's on duty. He's none other than the chief of the train station. He might as well be mayor. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, the thing I like about the party members in Shining Force 1, 2, and this in particular is that, like, um, they're kind of like NPCs that travel with you. Like, they're not quite, like, main, main characters, aside from, like, maybe, you know, like, the ones that, you know, we started the game with, but it, it's certainly interesting. Madam is kind and good at heart, but I wish she'd stop bragging about her husband's occupation. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I need to read that last one. Now our son has started to talk like her, and it's driving me up the wall. I think I'm going crazy. Oh. Are you, like, uh, the maid? Interesting. Okay. So, let me <laughs> open up this chest. What do we got? Large mithril. Ooh, cool. So, um, if I'm correct, I'm probably going to reach a dwarf town, if this is going to be, like, uh, Shining Force 2. And then I can use all that stuff to forge weapons in, uh, you know, when I get there. And it's going to be cool. My dad is none other than the chief of the train station. Even Governor Garv Garvin visits here. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, I see. They're, they're both doing the hee hee, the ha ha's, the hoo hoo's, the the. <laughs> this weird laugh. 
Uh, I was watching uh, your, your movie Sucks, uh, YMS, and uh, I'm just pulling up a guide as I say this, but um, basically he was uh, watching this one movie where this character was supposed to have a really distinct laugh, but it was just kind of like this kind of generic evil clown laugh kind of, and so he was saying if you wanted a distinct laugh and then he just pulled up this one laugh that made me laugh really, <laughs> really hard. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just kind of insert that in here. Hopefully I remember in editing. The door is locked. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, let me go here. Okay, so, I already got that chest. Um, let me see, I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, any rooms that... Oh, hello. I'm gonna talk to you. Today is my day off because of the cost of physical labor. Just about every part of my body hurts. Ouch. That sucks, bro. Um, hope you feel better. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything in this house. Um, yeah, so, basically, after I reached that one point last part is when, I, I went and redid a few things, though I did get some items, uh, back in, uh, Balsamo. Um, this, this is, uh, Railhead City. Okay, so that's, that's a normal, that's like a word name, so, Railhead, okay. I've been on the train before. You're surprised, right? It was for work, but it, but what was strange? We loaded some cargo in the middle of nowhere, and the Republican Army was there to get it. Oh, so were you like uh, transporting military materials? That's interesting. Yeah, again, I'm. I I know it might bug some of you guys, you know, me reading all this NPC dialogue. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just really interested in like what's going on in the game world and all that stuff and. Um, I don't know, I just... Camelot always makes RPGs with fun NPCs. It, it's always been a thing. I've been unloading the trade for a long time, and I've learned a few secrets. Saraban, aside from transporting food and goods, is also involved in smuggling weapons. I'm sure some of the boxes held weapons. Alright, so that's what that was about. Okay. It's interesting. Um, hello. Although the railroad goes through my town, it doesn't mean much since I can't ride it. Whenever a train goes by, it makes a lot of noise and the ground shakes. There's really nothing good about it. Hmm. Hello, man. I really think it's a luxury that we can spend our lives watching the trains. That's a special privilege. Yeah. Privilege. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I don't think there's, like, anything in these houses. I could be incredibly wrong. Um, I probably am wrong. There's so many houses, my lord. These towns are really massive. It definitely, like, immerses me. But at the same time, I feel I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff. I took a trip on a train once. I still remember it. Everything was so wonderful. Now I can die happy. Our house was only, one, only worth one-way tickets, but the station chief did us a favor, and we rode back for free. Mm. The, sta the station chief's house used to be mine. I sold the house so I could ride on the train. Now I live in this tiny place. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I watch the train just leaves and spend all this time doing this. Just, bye train! <laughs> okay, um, frick. So I know there's like one that has like a couple beds and there's a chest in between them. The railroad put me out of business. I was a big time merchant for the Empire. Governor Garvin is a truly hideous person. Rumor has it that he exchanged a whole town to a demon for the steam engine technology. I don't know if that's true, but I mean, in this universe, that wouldn't necessarily surprise me. My husband can't let go of the past, so he gripes every day. However, I hear the rumor about Garvin is true. Well, it sucks for you, man. I, I mean, it, I don't know, you could get a job constructing railroad tracks? I don't know. <laughs> hey, can you see the smoke from the train? No matter how many times I see it, it never ceases to amaze me. It's smoke, dear! Grandpa likes the locomotive smoke. If you ask me, I hate it when my laundry gets covered in soot when a train goes by. Shut up, dear! It's smoke! What? Just... It's so cool! Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm regretting going to Espina to do some business. It's no wonder the Republic is so poor. As long as they distribute the harvest evenly, there's a, no incentive for the people to work, so many don't. Hmm. Man, this is... got some commentary going on. Oh, gosh, it's the classic child running around a <laughs> fountain. Mister, aren't you surprised? Usually everyone is amazed when they hear... He here he controls the train. He must be a really important person. Anyone who's not impressed by an engineer must be super rich. Or a silent protagonist. I mean, really, either or. Yeah. 
Um, oh, I think this is the shop. Um, let me see what you got. Okay. Um, ooh, he does have better weapons. Alright, guys, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, so, one second. Okay, welcome back guys. So, um, I was gonna buy that sword for me, but it does seem to... Well, okay, actually, okay, I'm gonna have this on screen, but I am gonna probably buy this sword. I'm just gonna have to give... Well, one, I'm gonna have to give an item to someone else. Um, probably the bouquet. I don't know what to do with this. Um, I may actually look that up in a second. Um, just to see what it's for. Um... But, yeah, right now I'm gonna buy a sword. And this one, it has more attack power, but it lowers my agility. But, um, I'm not gonna equip it. And I'm gonna have both swords. So if there's ever a situation where I need to get a kill in, um, and I don't want speed to be a factor, it's there. Just, so, just to help me out. Um, I think that could definitely help me out a lot. Um, hello ma'am. Okay, let's see, do you have any just healing items? Which, I think I'm pretty stocked up on that for the most part, so I think I'm good with that. Um, I'm already at 10 minutes. Alright, so this, this is about where I should start focusing on plot again. But, um, it's one last house. If you're the Republic, I recommend buying a new wardrobe in Railhead. You look like a new man. Oh? I'm glad you're not a bum, or a monk. Just the other day, a man claiming to be an Elbison monk barged in here. I thought monks never traveled alone. He was looking for a boy wearing a monk's robe. Oh. I also, actually, some of the reason I want to explore is on the off chance there's, like, an important NPC somewhere. So, okay, so that door's locked. Um, yeah, I just want to see if I can find an important NPC because that is definitely a factor. Uh, hello. Who are you? It's Protag 3! Hey! How you doing, Julian? Uh, no. I don't know who they are. They ruled about a thousand years ago. Some of them... <laughs> th think of them as the supreme evil supernatural beings. A country to the west called Enrich was almost destroyed because of them ten... Because of them? Ten years have passed since then. What did he say? Vandals. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> um... No? Vandals created a kingdom 1,000 years ago. They ruled humankind with terror and despair until one day light blazed from the sky and they suddenly vanished. The Vandals then went into hibernation. Ha! Huh. Yeah, so I'm going to answer that and then... Yes. I'm impressed. I don't know where you learned it, but the people of Espina seem well educated. It's been 1,000 years since the Vandals vanished. More and more signs of the Vandal revival are appearing. 
Okay, so that's probably our big bad guys. And probably the bad guys we have right now are probably trying to revive them. So that's... That's neat. Um... Okay. I'm surprised there's nothing in this room? In that spot? Huh. There's a lot of dudes in here, my lord. Oh, man. Um... Okay, so it does say that there's, like, something... Maybe on, like, one of the tables. Okay. Um... Yeah, that was worth... I got to see Protag 3. Um, he seems to be very knowledgeable. Um, let me see. Quick chicken. Oh, okay, cool. I think I use that once again to, you know, buff someone's speed if I need to. Um, cool. Alright, well, let's just get a move on. Um, you just chug away at the beer there, man. Uh, okay. Um, let me go in here, frick. Um, yeah, I think that was worth it. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna draw the limit at, like... I'm just gonna do it, okay, guys? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need to know. I don't want to miss anything. Because of the train, a massive amount of cargo can be transported. It's a technological wonder. However, the savings never reach the commoners, but only allow the rich to prosper further. Is this the future? I... Do you want me to answer that honestly, my dude? <laughs> um... Oh, boy. So... Let me go up here, and cool, I'm just gonna check for if there is anything, okay. Um, right, so, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anyone actually left, so I'll probably, like, stop and then just progress. <laughs> okay, guys, you understand? Alright, let's move them. Alright, so, yeah, I think that's, that's everything. Let's go check out that train, guys! Are you excited? Oh, wait, who are you? <sighs> Finally finished unloading all the cargo. Alright, I'm going to get a drink at the bar. Mm. Alright, so I found, I found Julian, so that's cool. The cargo train that just arrived is bound for Destonia, the Imperial capital. A train bound for the Aspinian Republic is scheduled to arrive here a little later. It's running on time, so please be patient. Okay. Hello. If you already bought a ticket, you're welcome inside the station. There's no need to be shy. Please feel free to enter any time. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, oh man, there's just more to explore. What do these books have? Um, train tips. When the train arrives, stand behind the white line. The train stops for no one. Okay. Um, answer traveling on train. Okay, a small portable chair and a s Wait. Portable chair and a snack? I mean, alright. But do we have airline food? <laughs> Actually, there's probably train food. Train etiquette, flatulence, and a confined space is rude! <laughs> if you can't hold it, find a window! <laughs> Was that just said? Have you guys- Okay guys, answer honestly. If you've ever ridden on a train, I personally haven't. Have you ever seen anyone- It's like, guys, I seriously need to fart. I'm just gonna put my butt outside the window so you guys don't- Your passenger on the train. How can you afford a ticket? I thought the fare was pretty expensive. Perhaps economic inflation devalued our currency. Um, I guess it's about to raise the price. Real head, it's time at the train station. Okay, alright, so. <laughs> I'm dead, man. I can't. I, you, I, I can't recover from that, man. That I'm done. That's it. My existence is over. I'm deciding to go to the Republic because of the war. In order to fight, they need weapons and food. I'm sure even the Republican people would pay well for them. Gold spends anywhere. Em em Empire Republic. Mother of God. Since Varanda has become an occupied territory of the Empire, I've decided to go to Elbasum instead. I never expected a war. If it had come earlier or later, I would have been able to enjoy a nice relaxing trip. 
I can't wait. The priests of Albasum. Oh, they must be wonderful. I've never skipped my prayers, always attended church, and even donated 25% of my allowance. I'm so anxious to see them. Uh, I mean, good for you. Um, when I heard about the fighting in Baran, I wanted to cancel our trip there altogether. If we hadn't already paid the high fare, I would stop the trip right here and now. Is Baran, like... Is that where we came from? I think it's where I came from. Plan to go about some and pray for early conclusion of this war. Okay. Uh, to get to Elbasum from Baran, I must cross the path which appears once a day during low tide. Huh. Okay. We bore fighting many kinds, but as long as people believe in religion, this, their silly wars will eventually end. Okay. Found out about the free train ride privileges. Okay. So you just became a priest just so you got free train rides, I see. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Um, let me see, is there anything in this room? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, let's just go. Let's just go, guys. Come on. We gotta get a move on. We're already at, like, god dang 20 minutes. Um, this train is bound for the Empire. Just to think that huge thing can move so fast, it's so exciting. You're boarding a train like that soon? I'm envious. Wish I were rich instead of good looking. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So at the end of, like, one of these is a item... I think it's on that side of the train. Hello, sir. I'm being allowed access to the train to inform Dystonia that the Republican army is causing trouble in the Empire. To tell you the truth, this is my first time riding a train. I can hardly contain myself. Yeah, so this must be like a new thing. Which, I mean, that's cool. Like, I don't know. If, it'd be like an interesting thought if you were like there, you know, when trains were first invented. I don't know. I, I could see the hype, I guess. <laughs> Or the, or the lack of hype in the case of the guy who's losing his job over it. Um, is there, like, another way around? Yeah. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> Never mind. There is not a way around. Um, how the frick do I get on that side? Um, oh, what the frick? I did not mean to do <laughs> Okay. Well, um, I guess I saw the train. Um. Yeah, I don't. Okay. So. Okay, yeah, I have no idea how to get to it, but I'm not gonna stress over it. Like, I already have a ton of mithrils, and it's really clogging up my inventory at this point. What, what in the world is that? Huh? Oh, my lord. Where are they even coming from? Alright. <laughs> Look at them go. Battalion Halt! Battalion Left Face! What is... What do you think you are doing? Or what do you think you're doing? What is the Imperial Army doing here? I must ask you to explain it to my satisfaction or else. We have received orders to guard Railhead from potential vicious attacks of the Republican Army. That is why we assumed our position here, to protect the train station. I understand why you're here, but Railhead is under Saraband rule. You can't just take actions on your own accord. High Society customers are aboard this train. They re this really isn't the place to board for border guards like yourselves. Well, if Governor Garvin hears about this, please get out of here as quickly as you can. We have direct orders from Prince Arant himself. Are you questioning his authority? Ah, oh, boy. Captain, did you say Prince Arant? You, by whose order do you not allow the border guard Captain Access? Answer me! Me? What? Station Chief, are you... I... me... did I... I didn't... do anything. I promise to have him punished severely. Please guard the train station for us. Excuse me. Uh oh. How could the Station Chief punish me? That's not right. I should have stayed home today. <laughs> We're looking for the King of Republic, Benetrap. We must capture him if he appears. Assume your positions. Yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway. Oh god. 
This is unexpected. The Imperial Army guarding the train station. Oh well, I guess we'll have to ask our customers to be patient until the town has cleared the Republican Army. Lord Symbios, we must go to tell King We must go tell King Benetram about this. Yeah. That that that's that's quite the complication. Um oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and Lord Symbios, we must go tell King Benetram about it. Don't leave the town! I'm sorry. Alright? Look, I, I just wanted to admire the, the scenery. Also, was accidentally going the wrong direction. <laughs> um. Yep. What happened, Lord Symbios? The Imperial Border Guards showed up at the train station and they're looking for King Benetram. Border Guards in the station? We won't be able to get onto the train so easily now. Blast. Now we'll have to abort our plan to return to the Republic by train. I just remembered something. I heard something very interesting while I was in town. A railroad worker said sometimes he sees people hiding with the cargo. We could give that a try. It's a very good idea, Grace. If we did that, then we wouldn't be found by the border guards. Hmm. Sneaking in with the cargo. I, I don't know entirely about this plan, but... It's not perfect, but considering our situation, it might be worth a try. Let's go to the cargo hold. I mean, I guess, like, the train would be the fastest way there. It would be a risky move, but then conversely, there might be, like, Imperial dudes, like, everywhere. So it might be boned whichever direction we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lead the way, Lord Symbios. We'll be right behind you. I mean, I'm leading you guys anyway, so let's go. Let's move. Um, I think, um, maybe I should talk to one of these guys, because he was the one who was, like, messing around with the cargo junk. Okay. Or maybe we just go there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's go to the train station? Uh. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, I, I can get it now. <laughs> Um, let's drop an item. Um, I don't know what. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look up something really quick. So I will be right back again. Um, well, after I grab this anyway. <laughs> Alright, so one second. Okay, I'm back. So it does seem these items are, um... Permanent? So, I'm going to use them on, um, you know, I'm going to use this HP up on Mascarin because I have a feeling, uh, Mascarin, yep, sweet. And this one increases agility, which I think I'm going to give that to me. Um, so now I'll be able to attack faster. And now we have some freed up space in our inventory, so that's good. So yeah, without further ado, um, I guess we'll try and get onto the train? Or do we go in here to do that? Okay. Man, I don't know, like, in broad daylight how he would sneak in. Oh my goodness. Look at those Bastion boxes. Man, the... <laughs> the amiibo hunters were going crazy. <laughs> Anyway, uh. Oh my lord! I heard the trains from Railhead carry fabulous items, but I never imagined it would be this good! Gah! Look over here! It's about hidden treasure! Gah! <laughs> How about over here? Did you find any treasure? Gah! Gah! Stopping there, it's gonna be horrible for my voice. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to open it. Look at these amiibo. <laughs> there it is, I got it open. What? Hold on, I'll have a, the treasure out in a flash. What? What are you? What are you hiding in there? Huh? Oh my. Well, what we have here? A girl and a pretty one at that. Why were you in this thing? I. Name Irene, Empire 
very scary. I built Republic with cargo. Good. <laughs> little Irene is from a foreign land. You should you should come with us. Come have fun with us, a little fort. Oh my goodness, no. You're like a monster thing too. Touch me, and I hurt you. <laughs> oh my goodness. A girl hiding in a box, and a fighter at that. The boys over there have their hands full, so you guys go over and help out. If she's going to be trouble, she, if she's going to be trouble since she's seen us in the crime scene, go ahead and finish her off. Mm. What? Who are you? Who are you guys? Jeez, there are some more witnesses at the entrance. Okay, I'm just kidding. All of you, these jumps are slowing our progress. Eliminate them all so we can get back to business. Stealing treasure. Seems the bandits have detected us. In any case, we can't abandon the, that girl, Irene. <coughs> oh my goodness. Don't prolong the battle or the people in the station will hear. Symbios, just help that poor girl. Oh my goodness. How the frick did you guys even, like, get here? Because you look like monsters. Yeah, why would you even be interested unless you were running... Okay. So I need to get around to her, it seems. Is there, like, a walkway? Um, yeah, I could probably go over... And then I go over this way, so we need to rush. Alright. I am actually really happy. Again, I love map design like this that gives incentive to hurry along. Like, that's the thing that makes a lot of Fire Emblem maps great. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Um, I'm just trying to dodge her, right? Okay, yeah, just chill there for now. We're gonna have to go through, like, the whole bulk of their forces. The, the thing I'm worried about is her getting herself killed, which I think could happen. So we need to hurry. Um, oh my. I didn't even, like, save at, like, a church. Where even was a church here, actually, and I think about it? Uh, yeah, we need to, we need to hurry along. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Girl, no, 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 no. I don't like any of this. What the frick? Oh! Oh! That's cool! I'm good. Okay, we're gonna split up our forces now. <laughs> Alright, Dante. So... Um, come on. Alright. Yeah, that's cool that you have, like, you know, two different maps. Alright. Um. Man, the map design is so much more interesting in this game. Like, I don't know how to, like, communicate that. I guess, like, maybe I could just show some footage of, like, Shining Force 1 and 2 gameplay, but I mean, it, it is very similar, but it's like map design is one of those things, like, you kind of have to know what makes interesting map design to really make a statement like that, so it, yeah, um okay so we have, like, a little gimmick going on alright, so we have some of these bad dudes going on Alright, Dante Ray, smack this guy in his bird beak face. Prepare to die. Woo! Yeah, now he's dead. Also, at some point, I'm gonna be able to promote these guys. Um, I think it's like at level 10? Um, but, you know, we should wait for level 20. It's, it's like with Fire Emblem, basically. Like... <sighs> okay, thank god. Um, Alright, 
let's send you in that way. Alright, first off, let's check. Where's the exit point? Over... Aha. Okay. I see now. There's been some possibilities. Um... Yeah, so... Oh my goodness. This is... This is just a little bit stressful. Ugh, because I have a feeling she can actually die if we don't get to her in time. Um... Alright, so... I think the exit point I want to get to is over there. So let's actually just get rid of this barrel. Okay. Um... Um, yeah, go ahead and let's drop that. Okay, and let's move you that way. Alright, um, dare I? No, we should, because it seems she is heading towards, she's heading towards that one. So actually, we should come out that one. Um,. We just need to rush over to try and help her as quick as possible. Um, I really don't like any of this. The thing is that I'm glad the enemies aren't like prioritizing attacking her, because that would be all kinds of disastrous. Uh, well, for the most part. These guys definitely are out for blood, and that is not good. Um... Very solid individuals. I'm a frick. Uh, I'm gonna try and, I don't know, do something. Um, okay. Um, Just stand there, <clears throat> and, um... Just do that. Okay, so, yeah, um... God, this is, this is stressful. This is really stressful. Yeah, so we should have, we should have from the very beginning started rushing through this, but I didn't realize it was a thing. Okay, um... So, ugh, not good, they're pushing us back. I think I'll, I'll retreat up here to the top of these crates. Okay. Um. Alright, where were you before? Okay, so if I move you about there, this is all kinds of not good. Um... To die. Please, please do it. Okay, that's enough for Grace to do something. Um, because I don't think she's gonna be able to reach her in time. What are you doing, you mad woman? Oh my God, you just killed yourself. All right, well, this is gonna be a restart of like everything. So that's gonna be fan frickin' tastic. Uh, frick this. Uh, I best do no punishment beer. Frick this! I'll be back. <sighs> okay, guys. Tell you what. Um, I just realized that I was about 36 minutes. So even if I did do that fight, it would be a very long part. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you've gotten. 
I'm gonna redo all of this stuff off screen, and the next time you see me, I'm gonna be back at that fight with probably a few more items in tow. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this part, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright. Mm, bye!